All right, everyone, the demented steward of the United States, Beijing Biden, he's at it again. Yet another strange statement the other day. It's a half-truth, though, so, you know, it's still a gaffe. It's still him doing the deer-in-the-headlights incredulity old man thing towards the end of this. Uh, link in the description, not archived. You can watch it for yourself. He's talking about electric vehicles. He's like, well, yeah, no joke, man. You know, the, the big storm comes and the power goes out and you can hook your electric vehicle up and it'll keep the lights on. No joke. It's really rather exciting. And he gets all hyperbolic about it. And he's like, you know, doing that forced giggle that he does. Another dementia aspect, by the way. Um, here's the half truth. Yes, it is possible to run things off an electric vehicle. It's producing electricity. Yes, you, there are attachments that you can use to have a few outlets working. That could be useful, I suppose, in a storm. You could run a light, you know, your ham radio, so you can talk to your trucker buddies or whatever. That's perfectly fine. See, the problem is an electric vehicle costs so much money, it would make more sense to just get a gas-powered vehicle and a fucking generator. That's number one. The generator would be a lot cheaper. You'd save probably 10 grand, even if you're buying the car brand new. So congratulations, you can still keep the lights on. You're doing it with the power of good old U.S. natural gas or so diesel fuel or something. Diesel getting on the expensive side. My hope is that in the future this situation by and large improves. Um, so that's number one. It's possible, but it's not really cost effective. Entry level EV models cost about 50 grand. I checked the price of gas generators. Uh, you can get a reasonably good one. For 10 grand, you can get one with quite a few bells and whistles. Um, you can keep the lights on a lot more easily with that generator, by the way. Uh, so that's number one. Number two, not all electric vehicles have an attachment to be able to do what Joe Biden is saying that they can do. Yeah, of course you can. Not all of them are physically capable of it. There's a third problem, and this is a really big one. I would think logistically a sane person would think about this. A big storm has just come and knocked out power. Is it not important that you make sure that your vehicle is capable of getting up and going because that storm could cause flash flooding? <laughs> Shit, Ma, get, the, uh, uh, get Grandma into the back of this here pickup. We've got to get to high ground. Wouldn't that be important? There's a medical emergency. You know, the ambulances are all blocked and shit, but you've got your nice uh, electric vehicle with f f 4x4 and shit like that. Uh, maybe you go uh, tr uh, flummoxing off through the half-flooded roads very dangerously so you can get to the medical center or something. I would think that having the ability of, of movement is important as well. Like if a storm comes, if it's in the middle of winter, yeah, running a space heater is probably pretty important. Although you can just pile on the quilts and probably make it through the night. Maybe not with Vermont temperatures, but in most parts of the country anyway. <laughs> in most parts of the world. It's not like fucking Siberia three or four months out of the year like where I'm from. Uh, but it would also be kind of important to have your vehicle actually juiced up, right? And what say? You're running the house off of your Tesla. And the battery runs out, so you know now you know power's off and everything. Uh, but the power's off. Can you uh, juice your car back up in case there is an additional emergency requiring that you transit? No, the battery's dead. There is no power supply. The power is fucking out. It would be much better to have a. Uh, uh, I mean, if you're going to do the electric thing, have a home battery system. That would be much easier than hooking up your fucking EV in the garage to a long cord in order to run a couple of lights and a space heater now, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah, the technology's there, but it's not universal. It makes no sense. I would much rather buy the gas guzzling car, you know, so I'm getting a reasonable used car. Those probably cost 20 grand at this point. Fucking the Avalon, which was pretty nice, uh, ultimately. It would have been a quite expensive when it was new. Um, reasonably priced used car. I think it was 14k or something like that. Of course, they tack on additional service charges and fees, of course. Uh, but it was it was somewhere around there. I imagine that now, even in its current state, it would probably be worth almost as much as it was when I first got it. And that's with four on the floor. Now, good luck stealing that car. You're going to have to change all the tires and probably the engine beforehand. Uh, vehicle prices have skyrocketed. EV entry level, 50 grand. Maybe if you get it heavily used, you'll uh, pay less than that. Part of it, because the battery costs so fucking much. So why not just get the gas car for half the price? 25K, I'm sure, will buy you a reasonable car. You get the gas car, you can have extra gas on hand, and then you have a gas generator. 
Or, or you know, for the differential there, you could install a home solar system. <laughs> you might not be able to afford the battery on top, but you know, if you're if you're in the echelon where you're considering a fifty thousand dollar vehicle, you can probably swing for a little home battery system. Maybe you can make one yourself. Just keep it safe from seawater, because uh, those uh, lithium batteries they tend to blow up at some point if they're exposed to uh, the ocean at all. Floridians learning this the hard way. Imagine your home's been destroyed, and you're like, well, at least I've still got my Tesla. And then your Tesla blows up. And then you realize how much the fucking battery costs and that it's not covered under warranty. And then you say, well, uh, uh, do I want a car or do I want a house right now? Mm, I don't know. I can always live in the Tesla, I suppose. Uh, the people making these decisions. Joe Biden appears to believe that it's feasible for the average person not only to buy the $50,000-plus vehicle, but to use that as their generator. That's not, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Again, a home solar plus a home battery would make more sense than his proposal. Putting up your own fucking windmill with the home battery would probably be more cost efficient. The problem being, of course, zoning laws, nimbyists, people who say, oh my god, that 30 foot windmill obscures my view of the, uh, the mountain over there. I'm suing you. Many such cases. Uh, yeah, get home solar or just get a fucking gas generator. Get something you dump the diesel or the gas or whatever in, hook up the propane, and then your lights come back on. And you can charge your EV. How lovely. That's about all. Peace out.